this is DA4 uh, um, DA4 output 1 now these DA's um, are used to adjust the gain of incoming external signals uh, prior to feeding onto the mixer or possibly a, a monitor and there are six of them uh, channels uh, 5 to 10 on the mixer output 3 I've arranged the outputs in order 1, 2, 3 so that um, uh, there's a certain degree of logic and these PL259s are all screwing up quite nicely so that's the input going in to DA4 and um, they're not arranged as loop throughs uh, 1 to 6 so they terminate internally whereas DA7 down here uh, has got an output socket uh, and that's a loop through and that uh, if it's not used will have to have a 75 ohm termination on it when we push this DA box back into its um, position uh, all these wires will be inconveniently long and will have to fold up in some semblance of order these are BBC um, uh, AM4 5111s uh, uh, 6 dB gain and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 uh, that's a 0 dB gain and that's a 0 dB gain that are performing other functions but the main function of this box is to accept these external signals and the gain can be adjusted on this pot here well uh, you might want to make the signal bigger uh, if it's come some distance it will have had resistive losses in the cable or, or they might be sending it low or conversely they might be sending it high in which case you want to make it smaller so the gain the pots have a maximum gain of 6 dB down to uh, minus 6 dBs uh, the very crude adjustment it's um, uh, they're uncalibrated and you look at the scope and tweak them till it's right following on from our um, look a moment ago at the back of the DA box uh, I've squeezed into this corner up here uh, to show you the back of the matrix um, which although there aren't as many wires um, has fanned out quite nicely to each of the connectors and the control circuits fan out on that side but, um, it's very difficult to get this PSF 1 uh, 2 which is stiff and awkward uh, lying nicely it has its way of doing it and it's a bit of a fight well this is the back of the vision preview matrix which we've had to make from scratch as the original ones went to that sad place uh, uh, involving a round uh, shape which you throw things you don't want into uh, anyway we built it it has 17 inputs uh, and five sets of outputs each of the outputs have got three outputs because there's a distribution amplifier in the front which we'll look at when we go around to look at the front these cables here are the incoming controls from the push button switches and the outgoing uh, cables to the indicator lamps on the monitor stack so that it lights up to show you which you have selected uh, it's a fairly simple thing but involving an awful lot of wire and in the side here uh, you can see the relay banks uh, and it's relay switching which at the time was the right choice for a preview matrix we had to make this as I said earlier um, the original ones all went in the skip because they were awful but this is period so we made one uh, as it would have been at the time it has 16 inputs with an extra one so it's nominally 17 uh, and we can select what we want to look at DA3, DA2, DA1, camera 1 there are five BBC distribution amplifiers here which are used as the output buffer each of them has three outputs uh, which can be fed to various places you might feed one to a monitor the other to your scope or um, perhaps if it's the commentator's row uh, it might go to two different places 
uh, a couple of the outputs from the commentators D8. So there should be a U link in there, and that goes to the uh, technical termination panel, and then off to wherever the commentator happens to be. On off switch, AC on and DC on indicators. It's really quite simple, but there's an awful lot of it. A lot of wire, a lot of relays, and a lot of soldering. And if you poke your camera in there, uh, you can see some of the relays uh, and the back of the distribution amplifiers. Uh, down here, there's a little 24 volt power supply to run the relays and the lamps. And that, that's really it, simple, but it took ages to make.